I know it's been a while, but I just in the process of a move, I'm moving to a new place on Tuesday. Um, before I put more bedding in there, I decided to show you Charlie's brand new toy or hut. It's not only the plastic one, it's a wooden one. They put the wood shoes on the side. You can climb up to the top. You can even move his bed in there if you really want it to. Um, his bed is a sock. He really enjoys the sock. So I gotta put more bedding in there, but I figured I'd show it to you before I fill it up probably that high. Um, so yeah, he's got plenty of wood shoes and um, things like that. He just was put in his cage a couple minutes ago, so he's kind of exploring. Everything on the top is mostly the same. Um, just because I don't, we're in the process of moving, so I don't have time to change everything around. And the thing that he's chewing on is a honey blend bar or something like that for gerbils and hamsters. Um, it comes in a package like this. Um, I don't, it's pretty big, so I chose to break it in half. Give the other one to the, the other half to the really tiny dwarf hamster. But, um, yeah, I think that's big enough. I don't think they really need, like, a really huge one. And if he had it this way, he'd probably just eat all the sweets off of it anyhow. Um, but yeah, so we just cleaned his cage, so it's pretty clean. Um, he's exploring. Enjoying his little tunnel time. Um, so yeah. Let me know what you think of these bars. I just got them. They were a buck at Big Lots, and so I decided, hey, let's try these out. Let's see if they work. I will put a full one into the, the gerbils that there's and Presley and Riley, since there's two of them, and they're young, so and they also eat a lot more than Charlie does, because Charlie sleeps most most of the time. Um, when I clean his cage, that's the time when he's most active, which is when I like to videotape him. Um, so this is what a full-sized. Um, blend bar looks like. So. I tell the instruction on the back of it say to put it at the bottom of the cage, but I think that's kind of not a good idea because when you put it at the bottom of the cage, um, sometimes they soil the bedding and then it'll get into the food. And I just don't think that's very healthy and I think it should go on the top. I mean, I guess it depends on your cage because I know some people just have one leveled cages and that's okay too, that's okay. Um, but, so all his food and stuff, like this is a mineral chew, so he can chew on that. And then we got another wood chew over here, and he's got plenty of things, and I have a couple more wood things to put in there. And then this, this popsicle sticks, I built it more of like a step chew. Don't know what I was thinking when I did this, but um, but we'll see. Just something kind of random. So, um, yep, Charlie's doing good. Presley and Riley are doing good. It's time for me to clean their cage. So, if you excuse the mess really quick, that's their cage right now. It's a disaster. They took off the T Rex's head, which I thought was really funny, and his arms. So, apparently, he possessed a threat. So, yep, Charlie's about to make his bed and get all comfortable because he'll probably go back to sleep because that's typically what Charlie does. But I'm going to put some more bedding in there very shortly. He's like, where's my bedding? Then again, he could just be getting ready to get all nice and comfy. Plus, it's fresh and brand new. So when it's fresh and brand new, they love digging through it. So, Alright, this is getting kind of long, so we're going to go ahead and cut it. And Okay guys, thanks.